What's up, everybody? How we all doing? How we all doing? Welcome to the show. The Montreal Canadiens season is over. It is over. For some of you, you're probably saying, darn it. For the rest of you, you're probably saying, thank heavens. That is a quote from Bob Cole, by the way, <laughs> at the end of a Leafs Habs game in 06, 07 season, I think it was. All right. So Montreal Canadiens, um, oh, wrong graphic here. They beat the Panthers 10 to 2 in the 2021 22 season finale. What a night, though. What a night and what a way to cap off this very tough season for Montreal Canadiens fans. It was fun. It was fun, right, guys? We had a lot of fun. There's so many things to mention in this game. I might miss a couple, so correct me if you need to, but let's just go through this special night for the Habs and, you know, ending the season on a high note. There's there's so many things to go through, but let, let's start with this. Jordan, Jordan Harris, first career NHL goal. It was a beauty right from the point one-timer from Jake Evans. And uh, so happy for the kid. I just wanted him to get his first NHL point before the season ended, but to get a goal rather than assist even is even better. So we'll, we'll certainly take that. Um, as you guys know, Cole Caulfield, first career hat trick. It's really exciting to to see this actually happen. And mind you, the Florida Panthers did us a favor, by the way, by dressing nobody. Uh, <laughs> we I recognize Joe Thornton, Anthony DeClaire, Ben Sherratt, and... Maybe a couple others. I'm just drawing a blank right now. But my goodness, uh, the Florida Panthers did us a favor. Uh, a lot of special moments in this game. So I want to just go through a few of those with you guys. And uh, stay tuned to the end because I do have an announcement. I'm going to be releasing a video later tonight. I haven't decided fully if it's going to be later tonight or tomorrow. Probably going to be tonight. The NHL season's over. So I just figured I'd put out the content already recorded. So stay tuned for what that is. I'll mention it at the end of this video. That's going to be a video of interest to you as a Habs fan pertaining to their future so stay tuned for that. I want to give a shout out to uh, happy retirement to uh, Habs equipment manager Pierre Gervais, 35 year career with the Montreal Canadiens. There was a really cool video tribute on RDS actually that where he talked about his his first days with the Habs and, and also being part of the 93 Stanley Cup and um, how the first person he met when he started there was Guy Lafleur. <laughs> how amazing is that? Of course, of course it was Guy Lafleur. Of course it was him. Uh, that was a really cool thing to learn about him and just 35 years of service. Like just big congratulations to Pierre for that. Everybody loved him. So many, you know, player tributes coming in, uh, even from Dale Weiss, a buddy of ours from Habs tonight. Um, Tyler Pitlick, first career or first goal as a Hab. There's so much to go through, guys. Let's let's just talk, I guess, about the game really quick. We know the score was 10 to 2. We know the goal scorers, we know who they are, but I guess you know, we could we could go through them because why the heck not? I did have it here. Um, and, and, you know, Mike Hoffman, uh, what a pass, by the way, on that Cole Caulfield hat trick. That pass was underrated. You got to watch it again. Just the spinorama and then Cole kicking itself, kicking the puck to himself for the hat trick goal, which I'm going to show you in just a moment as well. But yeah, goal scorers, Jordan Harris, Mike Hoffman, Caulfield with three, Brennan Gallagher, uh, Matthew Perot with a nice with a nice goal as well. Jake Evans, Christian Dvorak. Tyler Pitlick. So that's your goal scores for the Habs. But man, how about the special moments? Let's let's go through these special moments here because I thought these were really fun. And uh, the Olay chant was like going early in this game because why not? I mean, the game was out of hand. The Canadians were winning it four to one after the first period. And then it just kept going up from there. Um, but a really cool moment when uh, Caulfield got his hat trick and they were chanting Caulfield and RDS actually showed Cole's reaction. And he's and you could see it, you could read his lips. He was like, This is that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that the crowd's chanting for Caulfield and made the kid feel extra special there. But but uh the most special moment had to be um his spirit was in the building for it. And you know what? I didn't even know why they were chanting gee 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 at first, but then I realized it was because the Habs scored their 10th goal. <laughs> so sure enough, the crowd is just chanting gee 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 after the 10th, 10th goal. Um, and that was just so cool. That was just a perfect way to cap off this night. Carey Price also getting uh, his first and only win, his first and only win of the season. It might be his last win as a Montreal Canadian. He doesn't know in his media availability today. He was even saying how it's really uncertain he's going to keep fighting, but his his playing career is absolutely uncertain. Still experiencing swelling in his knee, as he mentioned, and uh, we just really have no idea uh, what's going to happen with him, but just hope for his sake he can end his career on a high note and he even said that if this was how it ended it ended on a pretty high note for him but i don't think we've seen the last of carry price in my personal opinion anyway um 
likely Jeff Jeff Petrie's last game as a Montreal Canadian. That's at least the impression I'm getting. Um, I think that you know he's saying all the right things right now, but all signs are indicating that. I mean, out of the big contracts that Canadians still have, Jeff Petrie's is most likely to move, and I think it makes the most sense. He also ended his career as a Montreal Canadian on a high note. If this was it for him, so yeah, you have to. You have to feel for the guy to an extent. This was the toughest season of his career by far for a lot of guys. I mean, everything that could have went wrong went wrong for the Habs this season, including Jeff Petrie. He wasn't the only one, but unfortunately, it just stood out for him. But um, we did see an appearance from Shea Weber at the beginning of this game coming out, uh, albeit to some booze, we know. But um, there was some, there was a little bit of detail about Shea Weber given from Kent Hughes today and his media availability. So, um, I know you guys may have seen my video and I was defending Shay, and a lot of you guys are upset with that. And I understand, I completely understand. I'm not trying to stir the waters anymore, but what Kent Hughes did say about Shay Weber is that there was some legal issues that potentially may have prevented him from actually being at Gila Fleur's tribute. So we don't know the full details on that, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, Weber was there last night and he is going to be at uh, Guy Lafleur's celebration of life slash funeral this week as well, which is very, very important, of course. So hopefully we get some more answers from Shea at some point. I think we will. I think we will. But, um, you know, it was nice to see him in some capacity. I think if he could have been there, he would have been there for Guy's tribute. But anyway, I know that was a hard subject for a lot of us to talk about. So it's a very sensitive subject. I get it, guys. And you know I love you. I, For better or worse, I appreciate you being honest about it, okay? So anyway, um, not a whole lot more to add to this one. I did mention I'm going to, you know, pull up Cole's uh, Hatcher goal. So I think I'm just going to do that. I like this angle of it. I mean, you you can pick whichever of Cole's goals. I mean, neither. I, I know that I know that this was a, a route and Florida had none of their starters, none of their stars in this game. But I mean, none of Cole's goals were slouches. None of them were gimmies. So I felt like, you know, they were all worthy goals and, and earned goals. The first one going through the defender's leg, sniping that one under the under the short side of Johansson. The second goal, which you guys all saw, the backhand deke when he had three defenders on him, he still had to earn that one. Uh, I think we've seen him do that a couple times this season, just didn't get rewarded. But his first goal when Marty was coaching was a backhand. I remember that. It was a beautiful top shelf. But then the hat trick goal. Uh, the hat trick goal, a beautiful pass from Mike Hoffman, don't get me wrong, but Cole had to kick the puck to himself. Let's just show you this highlight uh, from Cole here. Here's a few from behind the net. Players like that with that kind of talent, Cole Caulfield. And then the hats rained down all over the place, just like that. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I'm like, I have these hats in the thumbnail, as you guys saw. But uh, oh my goodness, man! Just, just a fun way to really end this season. It was such a hard season for all of us, as we know. But uh, even Carey Price giving it to Ben Sherrod. I almost forgot to mention this one. This was a lot of fun. Carey making back-to-back-to-back glove saves on Ben Sherrod and just just chirping Benny up, uh, staring him down, even poking at him uh, in between whistles there uh, during a TV timeout. Like Just so many great moments. So many great moments, guys. And now we look forward to this. Potentially getting the first overall pick, guys. We have a guaranteed, guaranteed chance at a top three pick, as you guys know. Um, so we don't know exactly where we're going to pick. We don't know just yet, but we do know that this is what we have to look forward to on May the 10th. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see if we're going to get Shane Wright, if we're going to get Slavskovsky, Cooley, some of the other players you, you guys mentioned that you're excited about. So we're going to see. But uh, again, stay tuned, guys, for Bergie's Top 10. I'm going to be releasing it tonight, hopefully. And uh, it's going to be... Basically, Mark Bergevin's top 10 pieces that he left with us for the Kent Hughes, Jeff Gordon era. So give me your top 10 in that video later on if you want. But uh, I want to show you mine first, of course, just the people, the players that I feel are going to be maybe the most impactful in the short and long term that Mark Bergevin actually left behind. I did enjoy his era. I didn't always agree with Mark Bergevin, but I did, I did think he genuinely tried to do the best and make the Montreal Canes the best they could be. That being said, stay tuned for that video, guys, and thank you. Now I just want to end this with a thank you to each and every one of you guys. This is the last post game of the season, and you guys have no idea how how cool it's been to start building this community on my own channel. Some of you guys know I worked on Habs Tonight with Dale Weiss and the rest of our great crew, but to go on my own and have the support of the team and all of you guys just chiming in and giving me the opportunity just to talk about the Habs in uh, 
in a market where so many people talk about them on video, on paper, on radio, podcasts, everything you can think of. And you guys have really given me that chance to do this because I love doing it. Um, I love the Habs. I love hockey. And it's it's nothing. It's This, this opportunity just doesn't exist without you all. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up to these videos. And uh, the off season is a fun one for video creators because it's even more content sometimes to talk about and get creative and see what the future of the team is going to look like trades, signings, the draft. There's so much to talk about still. So just want to thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it for everything this season. It means a lot to me and I'll see you guys again real soon. All my best. Cheers.